stop. Would you really spend £250 on something when you can effectively get that same thing for about 50 quid? Well, of course not. And yet we spend a fortune on big fragrance brands when we don't have to. You can get the same smell and fragrance that equally lasts all day, but at a fraction of the cost. And I'm gonna tell you how. I'm a massive fan of Tom Ford fragrances. You know, for me, they're kind of classy, stylish, and they work really well, but they're pricey. And even as a gift from someone, it's a lot to ask for somebody to just spend that kind of money. They better love you to spend that kind of money on say some Tom Ford aftershave or you know perfume or whatever. It is a lot to ask, but copycat fragrances or clone perfumes could be the answer. Nobody sees the bottle when you're out and about, but they do smell the smell. And your smells react with your own body smells in a kind of unique way. So it's never an exact replica. So then it's just a question of 250 quid or 50 quid. So let's check out some of these copycat fragrances, these clone fragrances that are trying to replicate things like Tom Ford. So today we're gonna to be checking out copycat fragrances. So copycat fragrances specialize in recreating those really high-end brand fragrances. You know, the re you know things that like 200 pound a bottle for 100 mil, that kind of level brands. So the copycat versions make a great alternative at around about 50 quid for the same amount. But the real test with any clone fragrances is, do they smell okay? Are they close to the original? And how long do they last? So I've got Oud Wood, which is based on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I've got Executive, which is actually Creed Aventura, and Noir 2, which is based on Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, which is both sort of masculine and feminine, so men and women can use this one. That's the way it's pitched by uh, Tom Ford. So the question, as I said, is, do they smell okay? You know, are they offensive? And how long do they last? <laughs> Just smelling stuff I put on some earlier. Um, so that's what we're gonna be checking out. So checking out Oud Wood. I mean, Oud Wood is a fragrance. Oud is a fragrance. So this is, this is, there's no question about what this is. This is Oud Wood and it's based on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. It's, that's what it's trying to recreate. So it has sandalwood, cardamom. Now, Tom Ford's Oud Wood retails about 265 pounds. Yeah, 265 pounds for 100 mils. Now, Tom Ford describes it as sort of a smoky, incense-filled temples and a passion for rare, precious oud wood. It's a pioneering composition of exotic woods and spices. This is the definitive Tom F Ford, really, I think. Tom Ford is really big in bringing back oud back to give you that kind of evoking, enveloping warmth of incense-filled temples. In the original Tom Ford oud wood, they consider it a groundbreaking composition of exotic smoky woods, including the rare oud, uh, sandalwood, rosewood, eastern spices, and sensual amber, revealing Oudwood's rich and compelling power. A lot of that verbiage is straight from Tom Ford. But anyway, let's give it a smell in terms of the copycat version of Oudwood. Oh, I can smell it there, that's nice. I have tried some of the others already just to see how long they last, but I haven't tried the Oudwood. Yeah, there's a certain a sweetness to it that I like. I like some. I like some aftershave that has a sort of, um, and you know, odor to toilet that has a kind of a sweetness to it. Definitely that sweet fragrance to it. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's not offensive. It's not in your face smell. It's very sort of. I mean, it's a strong fragrance. What I'm saying is that, but the combination is very subtle. I was fine with the the copycat versions. There's always a bit of a chemically so sort of slightly artificial smell initially when you put it on. Once it's settled down and mingled with your own kind of, you know, body smells and stuff like that, you, you get the real, the real fragrance. Um, and I think some of that kind of artificialness and sort of chemicaliness is sort of gone. And what remains is here, this is very sweet. 
almost rose. Maybe there's a sandalwood there, I don't know. But it's really, really nice. It's quite perfumey, but that, that's really, really nice. We'll see, it'd be interesting to see how long it how long it lasts. You don't need a lot, um, you know. It's a strong fragrance. Now earlier I tried Noir Two. Okay, so this is based on Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. Now Tom Ford describes this essence, uh, describes his version or their version as the essence of saffron, patchouli, and vanilla, and it's a snip at two hundred and eighty-five pounds for hundred mil, or get the copycat version. Now, in fairness, um, at the 100 mil rate, so those 200 to 300 pound price that I'm talking about, it's eau de perfume. So when you buy fragrances, you can get eau de toilette, you get the aftershave, you get the perfume, you get eau de par perfume, and they all have different strengths. So like, you know, sort of perfume, pure perfume is sort of the highest, I think, and then eau de toilette, um, it's sort of next down and then you sort of get more your aftershaves. But the point, the point is the Eau de Parfume is the one that's going to, you don't need much, you just need a little bit of it and it should, should be stronger and long lasting, much than sort of, you know, cheap aftershave and stuff like that. And eau de, certain Eau de Toilettes and stuff like that are much more diluted. Your Parfume, Eau de Parfume, your perfume versions, are uh, the more pure, are uh, the more filtered version, the sort of the more pure version. That's how I understand it. May have got some of the categories wrong there, but you, you get the essence. The point is, when you're buying the Tom Ford Eau de Parfume, you're getting the stronger, longer lasting stuff. So that's the thing to bear in mind. So I tried the Noir 2 um, a bit earlier. And again, the first thing I noticed was there was quite a chemically smell and I couldn't quite put my finger on it but that soon dissipates. And what I found, because I tested another one of the copycat ones earlier, a couple of days ago, what I found is that, as I say, once that initial sort of, you, once you've sprayed it on, that initial spray, and it's calmed down and settled down, it's a real nice fragrance you're getting. And that smell, it lasts. Like I saw some reviews said it lasts four or five hours. Now you have this sort of, um, nose effectory blindness where you know we get used to our own if you'll use if you use a sort of regular aftershave or eau de toilette on a regular basis you kind of your nose gets used to it and you become your nose almost becomes blind to that smell but i found with this now obviously it's new fragrance for me uh, it's different from my normal fragrance i found that it lasted all day in fact I could still smell it, even though I'd obviously washed my hands throughout the day, I'd had a shower in the morning, I could still smell the essence of it on the back of my hand the following day. So for me, it, the smell, these copycat brands do last all day. Now with the Noir de Noir, as I say, initially you get that kind of uh, slight artificial chemically stuff, and then it and then it calms down. Now, Tom Ford's description of this, uh, his version is it's compellingly dark portrait of feminine masculine duality, where rich feminine florals, am I getting the rich feminine florals? Collide with the earthiness. I'm getting you get an earthy, earthiness of the black truffle, vanilla, and patchouli, and oud wood. You, you certainly, you get a real much more, with the Noir too, it is earthy. I think that's, there's something almost grassy. Maybe it's the, the black truffle. Initially, there was something very grassy when I sprayed the uh, Noir 2 on. But yeah, the idea, as I say, again, from the Tom Ford version, is it's meant to be warm and sensual gourmand fragrance. A yin and a yang. It's real marketing nonsense they go on about there, but the point is, I say, after that initial spray, it's, it's really nice. Is it as Noir de Noir is described as dark, sexy, indulgent, yin collides with yang? I'm not sure. 
but you're getting black rose, black truffle, patchouli. That's what you're meant to be getting. It's intense. It is an intense smell. It might not be quite as sophisticated as the original, but it's a really nice smell that balances between almost sort of feminine perfume and, and male feminine, uh, perfume. I think you can get away with it. I think you get away with it as a guy. I prefer a slightly more sweeter, slightly on the line feminine smell. I do like woody smells, which is very, you know, men, sandalwood, oud wood, but just a touch of sweetness. And I think Noir 2 does that, um, highly recommended. Next up we have from Copycat Executive. Now this is based on Aventus from House of Creed. Okay, so as I say, it says it's inspired by Aventus um, notes of pineapple, blackcurrant, bergamo. Now 100 mil of the real thing, if you're gonna get the House of Creed uh, Aventus, is 295 pound. Equivalent copycats about 50 quid. And it's the best selling men's fragrance in the history of the House of Creed. Aventus, this is their word, celebrates strength, power, success, and heritage. Very American. A sophisticated scent, perfect for the modern discerning gentleman. Sensual, audacious, contemporary. Let's have a smell. See if we get any of that. This rich, iconic, Eau de Parfum, again, it's a perfume, combines tantalizing fruity head notes of, oh yeah, apple, black currant, and pink pepper. Oh yeah, that's fruity. I'm getting, oh yeah, I'm getting that apple and pineapple. Jasmine and patchouli. Oh, that's nice. That's a much more of a fruity one. Quite a rounded fruity one. Again, I've just sprayed it on, so we'll see. There's meant to be a much more of a woody base of oak moss, cedar wood, birch. So that, they're meant to be that kind of masculine woody stuff. Well, that's nice. If you like a kind of fruity one, that's nice. It's masculine, but fruity. Now, one of the uh, Creed's signature ingredients is uh, ambergris. Okay, ambergris. Ambergris, ambergris. For the ultimate olfactive experience. Now, the thing about ambergris is it comes from sperm. Whales. It comes from sperm whales. Right, yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> Ambergris comes from sperm whales uh, from the digestive tract. So pretty rare. I mean, I don't know where they get it from now. Are they really killing sperm whales just for perfume? It's been around for like a long, long time in, in, the, in the world of perfumery. It's a fixative that allows the scent to endure much longer. Don't worry, I do believe there is a synthetic alternative that most perfume houses use, but ambergris has long been, you know, a signature of creed apparently. But yeah, I suppose putting the smells like the inside of a whale is not great marketing, but you know, I can confirm it doesn't smell like the inside of a whale, but what it does smell is like a woody, fruity, oh, that's nice, I like it. There's some other aftershaves and I can't quite uh, owe the toilets. I can't quite put my finger on, which a bit similar have that kind of woody, fruity texture. They're changing the smell. I'm, I'm smelling, oh, I put them on at different stages and the sort of the strength go, some of the sort of more, you know, powerful smells sort of calm down and it sort of settles down a bit once you've sprayed it on. Oh, they're all very nice. It's hard to say. Definitely the Noir 2, yeah. It, it is, I'm, I'm smelling the sort of the slightly feminine essence to it. The Oud Wood is much more woody. And the Executive there, really fruity. But they do all smell quite sophisticated. And that's what you want. Yes, it's lovely to have the real thing. If you're lucky to have someone in your life who's generous enough to sort of buy a 300 pound bottle of eau de perfume for you, well, you know, hats off to you. But alternatively, and if you like to vary it a bit, but you can't justify spending 300 quid on a bottle of eau de perfume, these copycat versions are really good and they last. In my experience, on my body, they last, oh gosh, 
They, they last. They smell sophisticated. Yeah. And they last. And that's all you want. So I highly recommend it. They do little trial bottles and stuff like that. Give Copycat a go. There's a link down in the description. I highly recommend it. If you like your eau de perfumes, your eau de toilets, your fragrances, especially at the higher end of the market, pop to Selfridges or your big super, you know, your special posh, uh, you know, store and try a few, you know, in the store and then see if you can find their equivalent from Copycat Fragrances. Highly recommended. Anyway, link down in the description. Why don't you give it a go? Um, they work, they, they smell sophisticated. And look, nobody's standing next to you comparing it with somebody else who's got the real thing on. At the end of the day, it's do they smell good? Do they make you smell good? And do they last? And yeah, I like them. I, I, I can't make up my mind. Yeah, that one, I think Noir, the Noir 2 is slightly, slightly too feminine for me. The Creed, and the, so the Aventus and the Oud Wood, I could vary. Aventus probably a daytime fragrance, a summery fragrance because of the, the fruity elements. Oud Wood, more sophisticated nighttime elegance. But of course, given the price, you could buy both. And then you could say, yeah, today's a summery, um, got the wrong one there. Today is a summery Aventus day, you know, executive one. And to, this evening is a dark, smoky, oud wood one, Tom Ford oud wood. Make up your mind, but you could afford to have both, even if you have little trial bottles. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find great content like this. And if you're new to my channel, then I do all sorts of random stuff for guys in their 50s or guys generally. So I'd appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with great content just like this. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Oh yeah. Nice.